Hey guys, how's it going? Joe from JM Concrete here. Thanks for clicking on the video. So this week we are doing a 14 by 12 entryway to a customer's commercial property. The problem is that this door, you're, you're gonna see the sliding door was added after the building was constructed. So the floor on the inside is sloping a specific way because there wasn't a door. So after they added the door, there's about six inches of floor that's sloping 3% into the building so every time it rains water was flowing in so what we're gonna do we're gonna cut directly right behind the door and then re-slope everything away pour it pretty thick do some uh 4eq structural fiberglass rebar this thing's really gonna be over engineered but uh stick around for the excavation the tear out um my favorite part the pour which will be easy because the truck can reach this directly and uh, we'll see you then guys thanks hey guys good morning so we forgot the camera so we missed some action to record but this was six inches thick a little bit more with wire we put the mb140 on the mt100 went through it like butter butter um I, as you can tell i made big ass pieces big old ones so that i can uh load them on to the 550 and to the trailer like i like to load it just nice and neatly stacked you can see nice little stack one two three four that's a good thing also about the mt100 uh, with the counterweights these are about four by four pieces six inches thick so they're about a quarter yard each machines not even struggling i think i could get even bigger if i wanted to but um sorry that we didn't record the beginning of it but you should be able to see yeah somebody forgot the camera me my bad and uh but now we should get the rest of it thanks guys I'd be lying if I said that uh, being able to lift that large piece into the truck was surprising and I'm happy that the MT100 can handle that large of a piece and to put it into the truck. But I just wanted to showcase the capabilities of how much weight it can actually hold when working on a job site like this and doing what I'm doing. For anyone that runs these demo saws, the few things I will always recommend having a water tank nearby uh, because of the dust that it creates, having someone behind you to uh, splash guard anything that's shooting back, especially when you're working in an uh, occupied space. And here in protection, folks, tinnitus is no joke. I have a little bit, but always take these steps to make cutting safe.
All right, guys, everything's good to go. Everything's ready. You can see here that 4EQ is down. So the crazy part about this rebar, it's a half an inch thick, but it's about three times stronger than steel rebar that size. And it has a tensile force of about 267,000 pounds per square inch. So this concrete's not going anywhere. You can see where uh, the existing foundation was before. Uh, they chipped it out initially, and then we came in and chipped it out more. And then from right behind the door, it's gonna be sloping this way about three percent down away so whenever water hits this doorway this whole area it's all going to slope away and then the customer is going to be sealing around the door and stuff like that but i mean there it is it's pretty overdone we compacted the hell out of this uh subgrade we're not going to get gigantic vehicles we're only getting like moving vans and stuff like that but this thing's going to be well done pretty good so i will see you at the port guys thanks Hey guys, Joe from JM Concrete here. Pour went well. We poured at 8 a.m., uh, five inch slump, microfiber, six inches thick, that four EQ rebar, two feet off center, so this won't go anywhere. There it is, guys. Nice and smooth, easy peasy little job. Thanks for sticking around. Now next week we're gonna have fun. You guys are gonna like that one. We're doing some random stones that are gonna be a square, concrete, square, concrete, square, concrete. So we're gonna be doing a lot of that, a lot of framing. But uh, thanks for stopping by this week. Leave us a like, subscribe. See you guys next week. Thanks.